And that could mean the difference between life and death in an emergency situation. Good evening and thanks for joining us here in the News at 5. Saving lives is part of the job description for any firefighter or medic. But when that life-saving situation involves dangerous chemicals, biological agents, even radiation, the stakes are much higher. That's why intensive training is needed. And that's exactly what happened today at the Biloxi Fire Department. Doug Walker with tonight's top story. So patients are processed from dirty to cleaner, cleaner, cleaner. As Instructors from the Biloxi-based company Decon are not playing around. This training is realistic in every way. We get the equipment out. We make sure it's completely functional, operational, field repair it, uh, get all their personal protective equipment out, make them wear exactly what they're going to wear in the real deal. Flush that side. Water plays a key role, water that's used to wash down contaminated patients. It's invaluable. There's nothing like realistic, real life, real speed training. At, you know, just like we're going to do it on the scene. The firefighters and medics soak it all in for good reason. More in depth decon, as well as how the local departments do it, so that when we do ever have to have a local response uh, with the Keesler medics, we know what each team has and how to work together. While today's training involved several scenarios, the most likely scenario here on the coast is a train derailment, a train loaded with very dangerous chemicals. This type of training could help save lives. This is just crucial that we learn these things and we can apply them when the time is, is here. You don't want to learn this when the accident's already happened. Skills learned today could mean the difference between life and death in the event of a catastrophe. But the main lesson learned is to never let our guard down. I think vigilance is, uh, is preparedness. You know, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. Benjamin Franklin said that. Wise words that are even more true today. In Biloxi, Doug Walker, WLOX News. Members of the Biloxi Fire Department undergo this type of training at least four times a year. Fire